Okay, all of your formulas are on here that you need to know, okay? You need to know that a parabola that has vertex at zero, zero, um, if it's this equation right here, y equals ax squared, it's either going to open up if your a value is positive or it will open down if a is negative, okay? The focus is at zero C. The directrix is um, a horizontal line, horizontal line at y equals negative C. All right, if you go over here, this side, we have x equals a y squared. These are going to be our parabolas that are new to us because we, we haven't studied things that aren't functions. These are not functions. These open up to the right and to the left, depending on if a is positive or negative, okay? And their directrix line is vertical. It's a vertical line directing you to see which way you go. So parabolas really only can open up four ways for us. They can actually tilt, but we don't do those kinds. Those are a little tricky. We do just the kinds that open up, down, left, and right, okay? All right, and then what they do is they move the vertex. Instead of at the origin, they now have it at HK. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. The vertex is at HK, and it makes things a little trickier. So these parabolas will open up and down, okay? And these ones still open side to side. Now, can you tell the difference between their equations, how if you can tell if they open up or down? Do you see how this is y equals, and this was y equals? So the y equals ones, those open up and down, and the ones that start with x equals open left and right. Okay, so you have to decide which one you're going to use. Now, here's a couple things to remember. This right here is the most important part, and you're going to use this formula for every single problem that we do, okay? And remember, C is the distance from the vertex to the focus, okay? C is that distance there. All right, so let's get started. Here we go. We've got some problems to do. Number one, we're going to write the equation of the parabola. We're given two things. We're given focus and directrix. Now, parabola has three things. It has a focus, a vertex, and a directrix. And what happens is you only need two out of those three to get the equation of the parabola. So we're given some pieces of information, and we have to come up with this equation. So my suggestion to you is to draw a picture to see which way this is going to open, and then you'll be able to tell which formula you're going to use. All right, so the focus is at 0, 6. So 0, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I go ahead and I put that is the focus. The directrix is the horizontal line, y equals negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's this line here. Okay. That tells me so much. I don't know if it tells you a lot, but it tells me a lot. It tells me, first of all, that my vertex is at the origin. How do I know that? Well, because this is 6, and this is 6, and the vertex isn't going to be in the middle of that every single time. It also tells me which way this parabola opens. Do you know which way this parabola opens? Up. It opens up for two reasons. One, this focus has to be inside of the bowl, and the directrix directs it away. Okay? All right, so what that does is that tells me that I need the equation y equals ax squared. Okay? There's four equations to choose from. That makes it hard. You know, you gotta, you got to know which one. So I need the y equals, okay, it's symmetric over the y-axis, so y equals ax squared. All right, now i got to find out what a is. How do I find out what a is? Do you remember that one formula that I told you you're going to use for every single problem? a equals, mm-hmm, 1 over 4 times c. And c is this distance from the vertex to the focus. And what is that distance? Six. See how nice it is when everything's all drawn out? You can see it. You can actually, like, you don't have to memorize so much stuff. And so A is equal to one over 24. Okay, we're ready. Plug it back in and you will have the equation of this parabola. So, uh -huh, so the parabola is Y equals one over 24 X squared. 
That's a lot though, right? For one problem. Like, I always think of these as kind of like, these are clues and I have to solve the riddle or solve the case or whatever. I like to make up things in my head just to make it more interesting. All right, number two, let's do it. Okay, uh, this time we're given vertex is at zero, zero. So that's nice. We're gonna use one of those simpler equations, y equals ax squared or x equals ay squared. And the focus is at negative seven, zero. So negative seven, zero is over here. So there's the focus, there's the vertex. Okay, can you tell which way this, this parabola opens? It opens to the left. Has to. That's the only way I can get this focus inside of the bowl of the parabola. And because it opens to the left, it's symmetric over the x-axis. And when it's symmetric over the x-axis or symmetric vertic vertically or horizontally like that, then it's x equals a y squared. Okay? See the difference? This one was y equals a x squared because it opened up or down. And this one is x equals a y squared because it opens side to side. Now let's find out what a is. a is 1 over 4 times c. C is this right here, this distance. I like to think of it as a negative number, even though distance is always positive, but I like to think of that as if I went from the vertex and I walked out to the focus, how far would I go? Negative seven. And so guess what, we're ready. This is negative one over 28. So then you get X equals negative one over 28 Y squared. And then check to see if your answer is right. Like, I know it's kind of hard to go, okay, yeah, that's the parabola. But at least you can tell, like, looking at this and this, it's opening to the left. I know that A has to be negative. Okay? Are these super hard? No? Do you remember this at all? I know we did it before spring break, so you might not remember it too much. Okay. The next one's going to be the last one that we're going to do that has a vertex at the origin. Then we'll do some, some harder ones. All right. Do you want to try this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You try. No? Yeah, come on, you try this one. You can do it, you're smart. All right, here we go. Vertex, y equals negative four. Uh, one, two, three, four. All right, here's the directrix, Shh, y equals negative four. Okay, now we don't have the focus, but if you, if you need the focus, you really gotta have it, you know where it's at. It's gonna be four in this direction. There's the focus right there, okay? So let's draw our graph. Our graph goes like this. And now we can go ahead and write our equation. So our equation is going to be y equals ax squared. Now you don't have to write that a there. You can just leave it blank if you want to kind of make it easier on yourself. And a is 1 over 4 times c. And this is opening up. So c is going to be positive 4. So my equation is y equals 1 over 16x squared. Anybody get that before I did? Oh, good. Lots of you. Good. Okay. Now, these get a little tougher. Here we go. You ready for this? Um, the next two, four and five, are not um, at the origin. Their vertex has been moved. So, suggestion again, go ahead and graph what they give you. So, vertex is at negative three, positive two. Okay. Okay. And the directrix is over here at negative 7. Three, four, five, six, seven. So there it is. Directrix is x equals, the vertical line, x equals negative 7. Now, just looking at that, I know which way this parabola opens. I have a 1 in 4 chance of getting this right, but I know it's going to open to the right. Did you know that? Yeah. If it opened up, it would run into the directrix. If it opens to the left, same thing. You can't touch the directrix, okay? So it opens to the right. Now, knowing that, I know which equation I need. I need the equation that starts with x equals. And this is why it's really important you memorize these. x equals a y minus k squared plus h, okay? It's right above all your stuff up here, all your, your formulas. It's a parabola that's not at the origin, but it goes to the left or right. That's the equation you're going to use. 
And now we need to plug in all the stuff, okay? All right, well, what is H and K? H and K comes from, bless you, the vertex. H, K comes from the vertex. So our vertex is negative 3, 2. That is H, K. If you want to, plug those in right away, okay? So I have X equals, I don't know what A is yet. I'm going to leave it blank. Y, here's the tricky part, Y what? <laughs> Minus 2. Because the Y goes with the K. So you need Y minus 2 squared minus 3. I know. It's backwards, isn't it? It has to be. Minus 3 on the outside. Mm -hmm. Now let's find out what A is. A is 1 over 4 times C. Okay? C is the distance from the vertex to the focus, but I don't have that. But what I do have is the distance from the vertex to the directrix. So if I went from x is negative 3 over here to negative 7, how far have I traveled? Negative. Yes, you've gone 4, a distance of 4. So that means my focus is going to be a positive distance of 4 away. Okay. So that's going to be 1 over 4 times 4, which is 1 16th. So I write 1 over 16, and this would be the equation of the problem. That's probably going to be the hardest question on the quiz so Thursday. Can mm -hmm. it be positive? Okay. So can it be negative or not? Yes. If it was pointing or opening to the left, it would be negative. But it's opening to the right, so A is going to be positive. That's it. All right, we're going to do one more of those. I'll walk you through it again because these are tough. So here we go. Uh, first, start by, you know, drawing a picture of it. And we'll plot our points. So I have vertex is 1, 3. And focus is 1, 5. This one's actually a little easier than the last one. And this parabola is going to open which way? Anybody know? No? Up? Up. Perfect. It's going to open up. Okay. Now it opens up, and the vertex is not at the origin. So my general equation is y equals a x minus h squared plus k. And now I need to fill in the, the missing pieces. I need to find out what A is. I need to fill in H, and I need to fill in K. All right, I have some of it already. I have H and K from the vertex. Vertex is H comma K. I can plug those in right away. So let's do that. Let's do Y equals, leave A blank for now, and we'll do X what? Minus... 1 squared plus 3. See where I'm getting those from? H and K, 1 and 3, x minus 1 squared plus 3. And you're like, wait a minute, the other one you did them backwards. Well, that's because everything was backwards. This was x and y, so I have to switch them. This is y and x, okay? All right, so A is equal to 1 over 4 times C. What's C? C is this distance. Ooh, someone said it. Two. Mm -hmm. If you're going from the vertex to the focus, you climb two up. Positive two. So that's four times two. So I get that that's one eighth. And I go back up here and I plug in A is one eighth. And I try to make the numbers nice like that. And there it is. All right, those first five... Are here's some stuff and you have to find the equation okay the next ones are going to be here's some e here's the equation find some stuff okay here we go now we have y equals 1 16th x squared and we have to find the vertex the focus and the directrix so first of all what I would do is once again you know this is a very visual chapter these things are actual shapes there's a parabola you know what a parabola looks like when I say the word parabola 
Do you picture a U shape in your head? You should, yeah. Okay, so this is a very visual chapter, which means that it's good to draw a picture of it. This is y equals positive a x squared. This parabola, I don't know how skinny or how fat it is, doesn't matter, I know that it points up. I know that, you know that, right? You know this parabola opens up. I think on the final exam, I think there's like a last question that says, does this open up, down, left, or right? A, B, C, D. I hope you all get that one right. It's like, ooh, I got one right, yay. All right, so where's the vertex located? Origin, uh-huh, you could say origin, you could write zero, zero, whatever you prefer. Now I need to find the focus. Well, the focus is some point right there. I knew where it was because two things. One, the focus has to be inside the bowl and it always lands on the axis of symmetry. So my focus is in there. Now, I told you, and I'm not lying to you when I say this, but you're gonna use A equals one over four C for every single problem. Now, this one's a little different though. We're looking for C, I'm trying to find that distance there, and I have A. So I'm gonna take this, A equals one over four times C. And I try and make these work out pretty nicely for you. So what would C equal here? Four. Mm -hmm. C is four. Now, if you go over here to your focus and you tell me the focus is four, I mark, it, I mark it wrong. That's not right. The focus is not four. The focus is a point. And a point has an X and a Y coordinate. And so the focus would be what? Zero, four. And it matters what order that's in. Zero, for x and 4 for y. All right, and then the directrix is going to be the other direction. And once again, if you write that the directrix is negative 4, I will mark that wrong too. Okay? The directrix is a line. y equals negative 4. Yeah? Where did you get c equals 4? Oh, okay. Remember that one formula that I told you about? A equals 1 over 4C. Mm -hmm. What I did was I took A, which is 1 16th, and I set it equal to 1 over 4C. And then you can cross multiply, or you can just look at it and go, oh, it's 4. Either way. OK, last one of parabolas. Ooh, we're getting low on time here. We're OK, because circles are super fast, right? This was all stuff that was before spring break. you know. And then you had so much fun over spring break, you forgot everything. All right, identify the vertex. The vertex. Okay, so you know that you need a point. Okay, and this is like, seems like a really simple question, but a lot of people miss this. It's gonna be negative 14, negative 25. Okay, there's a lot to go wrong here. People will write it opposite, 25, 14, or they'll put negatives in the wrong spots. So let's talk about this. Whenever you're inside of here, the squared, it's always the opposite. This one went with the Y though. Oh, I did it wrong. Did anybody notice that? Yeah. Yes. Whoopsie woo woos. I just did. You did? You knew I did it wrong? Negative 14 needs to be over here in the Y spot and negative 25 is there. And I didn't do that to see if you were paying attention. You know, people are like, oh, I was just seeing if you guys knew. No, I really got that wrong. Like, I would have gotten that wrong. But I'm glad I checked it, because some of you were quiet. Some of you are sitting there like, you're doing it wrong. You're, like, thinking that in your head, huh? You can say that. It's OK. I don't get mad. The price isn't always right. OK, so <laughs> negative 14 over here for the Y, negative 25 for the X. Got backwards. Yeah, the 25 doesn't change. You know the formula for this is x equals a y minus k squared. It's opposite of k, but plus h, not the opposite of h. I know, different, huh? OK, let's go to the next page. Circles. You probably feel nice and comfortable with circles. I mean, look at all you have to know for circles. That's it. Um, you do need to know that r is the radius. So we can write that in. But if the center is at the origin, it's simply x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Such a simple equation. And then over here, uh, it's going to be the opposites 
inside of here. Negative h and negative k. All right, so you guys did these last night. This is all fresh in your memories. So go ahead and try it. What do you got? What's the center? Good. Negative 2, positive 3. And the radius is 7. Good. Perfect. They didn't even ask you to graph it. Okay, now here, write the equation for a circle. We have the centers given to us and the radius is given to us. So we're just going to go ahead and just plug that right into our equation of a circle. So we'll go x plus 3, don't forget the squared, okay, plus in the middle, y minus 7, don't forget the squared, equals, equals what? 25. 25. Good. R squared. 25. Perfect. That's it. You guys are going to do so good on the circle parts. All right, number 10. Thank you. Here's a circle. <laughs> Here's a circle. And we're going to move this 4 to the right and 7 down. Now, if I start at 0, 0, and I go 4 to the right and 7 down, that's going to be my new center. Okay? When I write it in an equation form, everything gets all backwards, right? Well, not backwards, just opposite. So it's going to be x minus 4 squared plus y plus 7 squared equals 225. That means that my parabola shifted 4 to the right and 7 down. Are you doing these? You're doing okay? Yeah. Good. All right. For circles, the hardest problem will be number 11. Okay? That's the hardest circle problem you'll get. And it's not too bad, right? Do you know how to do this one? Mm -hmm. You do? Some people say yes. Some people say no. Okay. We're given the center. That's HK. And we're given a random point. So this is HK, and this is XY. So here we go. Shh, we're almost done. Two more. We've got X minus 2 squared plus Y minus 3 squared equals R squared. They didn't tell me what the radius is. Well, they wanted to make this really hard for you. And they means me because I wrote this. All right. So now it's going to go through 6, 12. So let's take 6 and 12 and plug them in. Now, are you good at arithmetic? Yeah? <laughs> Arithmetic sequences? Um, let's say you don't feel like you're so confident in your mathematical skills to do this in your head. Get that $100 calculator out that you spent money on. $100. And you can go parentheses. You don't even need to know what 6 minus 2 is. And then add parentheses 12 minus 3. And hit enter, and it'll give you 97. Did you get it in your head? Yeah. Really good. Okay, please don't stop there. Uh, every year I have people that stop there, but I don't see the answer yet. Do you see the answer yet if you were grading my paper? I'd probably miss this one too. The answer is, I'd mark, I'd mark a point off, maybe half a point depending on if the kings were winning that day. All right, x minus 2 squared. That's a, that's a joke. y minus 3 squared equals 97. So that would be the equation. Yeah, you have all the parts. You just got to put them all together. Yeah, that's fine too. Yeah. Okay, and finally the last one, number 12. You get to graph this thing. So start by graphing the center. The center is 3, negative 2. Opposite, opposite. So I go 1, 2, 3, negative 2. And from here, I'm going to count how far in each direction. 4. And I can go off the grid a little bit, but that's okay. You can, you can eyeball it. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you go, you know, in each direction, vertically and horizontally, from the center, like northeast, southwest, you go a distance of four, and you draw the best circle you can possibly imagine. Is yours better than mine? No. I think it is.